get it. I couldn't have a conversation and saying, hey, let's get somebody to win, uh, you know, a far, you know, a water board, you know, water board seat, you know, a fire district seat or, you know, or a small or a small uh, elementary school district. And, um, you know, that just wasn't a conversation I could have. And I know that I'm in an organization that understands that we need to do that. And what we need to do, and what, one of the other things I learned from uh, the Green Party is how ineffectual they are and how they weren't actually willing to engage with the process. Because sometime in the 90s, I don't remember remember when they got had a woman, uh, they actually got a woman who got one term in, in the assembly, Audi Bach, A-U-D-I, uh, B-O-C-K. You can look it up and uh, find out. She got one term sometime in the 90s in the assembly. Uh, she beat out a... a she, it was, there, she beat out Don Parada, uh, who was. Um, yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, he was a democratic, you know, democratic functionary in the '90s too. He was in a, He was in on a, on a college board too. And I, what she did is that she went and she won the seat. And what happened was, is just the Greens didn't back her up. They didn't hold the seat. And what? Yeah, and so she had she had uh, lobbyists from oil companies just coming in and you know waving golden checks in front of her, you know, to, to probably throughout her whole term. And she only had it one term, and they put a Democrat in there and stuff. So they they didn't do it. So the thing is that we have to be, that I see that the independence movement, if not the the CNP, is we have to put together an organization. We have to work for five years to hold on to seat in the assembly and that's what we need to do because the, the campaign isn't necessarily it's finding somebody we could find a district or a candidate this week or a district that's warm to us but then we have to go and we have to put armed guards wherever they get and you know in their basement in the east wing and say at the capitol or wherever they you know whatever closet they end up in at, in the east wing to uh check you know check who's gonna go on it's it will be tough it will be tough, but we need to prove to them that we can play. And if we get, if we can play, and we're going to hold on, we can, we can take hits because it's going to be like, it's going to be just like, you know, you're going to, we're going to, they're going to win the election. It's going to, you know, go. You know, something you might want to see is watching Muhammad Ali take a rope and dope. I was a kid when I was watching. You just stand there and get pelted by Joe Frazier, you know, and Ken, you know, and Ken Norton. I mean, those are big guys, and you just don't want to take hits. You just stand there like that and take hits from these guys. Like, oh, I, yeah, I, yeah, just boom, boom, boom. I can barely hold boom, on. Boom, boom, boom. You know, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, we got to be able to take hits like that and stuff, and we got to come back, you know, you, you got to go and start swinging in the next election. That's the what. That's pretty much what we got to be able to do. We got to do that for five, not, 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 not 15 rounds, but we got to do it for five years. You just got to be able to hold it for two terms. And it's going to take five. It's going to take five years in it. Okay. Well, let me have a couple more minutes left, and then I got to go. A couple more interviews. But I see you're part of the CNP. You were there when for years in the Calixid movement. What is the CNP for someone who does not know? What are you trying to do, and why should someone join? Well, what the CNP is is where we are. First and foremost, our things about California independence, uh, about California becoming an independent nation. Um, but we know that there's a, there's things that, that are going on. There's a lot of issues that we need to be able to deal with. We got to be able to talk about governing for ourselves and governing while we are part of the United States. Uh, you got to be able to do that. Um, you know, I don't people when they talk about California independence, they talk about uh, they, say, they start thinking about the Civil War. And I don't want to go to Fort Sumter. I don't want to pick up a gun and go to Fort Sumter. You know, I don't have anything like that. I, I'd rather talk about divorce, like, you know, how the Czechs and Slovaks did. Czechoslovakia might have been an invention of, you know, by the invention, invention by the, the um, Austro-Hungarian Empire that was convenient for the uh, Soviet Union to hold on to. But, uh, you know, it was a... Um, you know, it was a marriage, and you could say it was a marriage of convenience where California was not. But, you know, the thing is, you could use comparisons or not. The thing is, we can negotiate our independence with you from the United States. Um, you know, we're not, you know, we'd, we'd be foolish to give up the port of Los Angeles and uh, Long Beach to not ship in goods 
from the from the far east to do that so we got to so there's we live in the same planet too we got to be able to talk about the uh the environment and it, we got to be able to you know work work together with the economics as i just said so so there there are those things and there's, there's some things that we will not be completely uh free of you know but we got to be able to do these things and you know but in the meantime we got other things to do and we get somebody on the school board talking about making sure that kids get uh, that teachers are uh, qualified that they're well paid or something that we that is going to go on throughout we got to be able to do that we got to make you know we've got to talk about health care people are still you know medicine is going to be sit in same as part of the whether our capital is in washington washington or sacramento we still need to be able able to develop health care and keep people healthy so a lot of those same things are going to be going on what we need to do is get people who are interested in these things who are not who are interested in that but wanting to do it in a way that actually works and there's good ideas that work in the u.s that uh, you know that we need to do just do for ourselves there independently like like single payer health care so california so, is dedicated to california gradually evolving towards independence and isn't just exclusively on that issue it also looks at other social issues and is trying to collectively use the existing legal framework to move california gradually to a better place and towards independence am i summarizing that right or am i getting it wrong that's the way i look at it you might hear you might hear it differently from other people you know uh, uh, other leaders in the party you know and I, that's absolutely fine but the point point is something you know some things are going to remain the same you know united states gets gets laws you know there's a there's a line of you we can look at our governments we use we don't use a parliament we don't use a parliamentary system but we tinkered with the parliamentary system that we brought that was brought forward from uh, england in England, you know, we, we still, a lot of our laws, our common laws built on the Magna Carta. I can't see the, the California doing something else that isn't, that isn't based on common law. I don't see that we're going to be able to do that because when we form laws, we're going to be doing it in a, in a way that we know best. And it's going to be, you know, there's going to be those similarities. There's going to be, you know, so it isn't going to, it isn't going to change as much as you might think. But the thing is, is just that there's some things that do have to change. Uh, that we're going to be able to do it. We're not. You can't take away everybody's guns. You know, we got to be able to respect people's attitudes about guns. We're going to inherit those attitudes. A lot of those attitudes. So you know, disarming people is not going to not going to work. Okay. Um, you know, we re respect that. We understand that. And so, um, you know, if people are going to come over from. Uh, you know, say so like said. So let, let's look at needles and people like coming from Arizona every day. It isn't like you know we can't have people cross, crossing the west across the uh, um, Colorado River and falling off a cliff and getting locked up to uh, take away their guns. Can't do that. That's not going to work because we got to be you know. Is look, I go shopping in Mexico every day. And we can't stop people from going shopping. I don't. I don't. I go. I have gone shopping in Mexico pretty frequently. I should say that. A lot. A lot of people in San Diego do. Last minute. We got one more minute, and then I gotta go. So. So, you know, th there's a lot of things we're going to, you know, there's a lot of things that we're going to do, a lot of things that we need to keep, but there's other things that we need to change, um, you know, and things that we need to get do for ourselves because the U.S. will not respect us for that. We have, need to make our own laws because the United States will not do that for us. So, you know, we're, we're inviting people to participate in that and stuff and try to keep the, you know, maintain the, you know, what is California and how we want to govern ourselves and figure out, you know, try and institute a system where we can govern ourselves on our own terms. That's really what we're talking about. I would join that. And I did. I encourage everybody to register to vote. CNP, you can go and register to vote. When you register to vote, and then write in CNP. Everybody can do that right now. You can go on your phone, your computer, type in, I want to register to vote electronically in California. Yeah, do that. Um, that sounds like a great idea. Hold on to your registration. That brings up another thing. We can talk more time 